originally from Royal City, Washington. It's a really small town. Um, I'm sure if you blink, you'll skip it. <laughs> and I am the production supervisor for uh, St. Michelle Wine Estates out of Cold Creek Vineyards. I um, first started off more with um, orchards, um, basically apples and a little bit of cherries. So with my dad, I got an opportunity to do a little bit of everything. I got an opportunity to go out um, midwinter when, when back then it actually snowed quite a bit. So I was knee deep in snow, uh, pruning some of those uh, orchard trees. And from there, I got a little bit of chance to kind of um, see what day-to-day -day operations are like, how to manage those things, how to prep for the next day. During harvest, there's a hundred things running around and trying to prepare yourself and uh, coordinate yourself for the next day and just for the next week and make sure everything's running smoothly. I'm the oldest of three sons. So um, everything was always, you know, riding on my shoulders, making sure I'm doing, taking the right steps. Being the first in my family to graduate from high school and continue on to get a higher education um, and just kind of lead my brothers down the, the correct path so they can be successful down the road it was a, a huge motivator for me. I definitely think that growers and the, in the long run, I think they need to be enriched in the sciences that go along with plants as much as possible because at the end of the day, it, it'll make their lives easier and we'll be able to, you know, just produce the best um, produce out there possible. So my, my main focus was mainly the anatomy and physiology of plants. I was more interested in uh, what can you remove and what you shouldn't remove and what would be the end result of doing that job. And um, I also was interested in a little bit in soils um, now that I'm in my master's program, I've gotten a chance to learn a little bit more about fertility management. And one of the things that has stuck with me is soils is the supplier and the plants are the demand. So if you don't have the right tools for the plants, then you can't really expect to have the greatest result at the end of the day. As far as tree fruits and wine grapes uh, go, if you have the fundamental knowledge of the anatomy, the physiology, just the basic science that goes behind growing a plant, um, the decisions you're going to make are going to be the, the most proper for your operation to get the best end result, which in, in the long run is just going to be a more viable uh, business plan and you're going to be profiting from that.